The WTOL 11 weather team issued an alert day last Thursday. That was over a week in advance from this winter storm system. But the science behind forecasting a winter storm, that's what we're going to break down in today's video. The science behind an alert day forecast and what goes on behind the scenes in the WTOL 11 weather center. Now, when we issue the alert day, we started to see some trends that there was a storm brewing. However, the specific details remained murky and unclear. Five to seven days out, you can tell that there's a winter storm brewing and one of the most important forecasting tools is looking for consistency. In other words, how are computer models faring? How are they different? How are they the same? And when you start to see consistency, that is a sign that there's a storm brewing and it could potentially have major impacts. Now within this five to seven day time frame, we focus less on the details of the forecast and the nuances and focus more on how the storm may affect you, not only at home, but also with travel, especially on a holiday weekend, given that our alert day is is Friday, December 23rd. It's one of the busiest travel days of the year, so we're focused on the impacts five to seven days out, not just the impacts for Ohio and Michigan, but even for those traveling to say Chicago, Cleveland or Pittsburgh, a number of Midwestern cities all going to be under the wrath of this storm system. Now three to five days out, we start to pick up on a little more of the detail within the forecast. At this point, it's still too early to talk about snowfall amounts or snowfall totals. So if you're hoping for a snow map, not quite within that range yet. That being said, the storm trend is growing more and more clear. We're starting to pick up on trends in the models that suggest is the storm shifting west? Is the storm shifting east? And with this particular winter storm, we've actually noticed a western shift. Earlier on, computer models were pinpointing more of a nor'easter type system, one of those that slides up the east coast in the mid Atlantic and provides heavy snow for a lot of those coastal New England towns like Boston and New York. Now, one of the trends that we've seen in terms of that storm track is a westward shift. In other words, it started to move towards Pennsylvania and then Ohio and then started to look like parts of northern Illinois like Chicago, northern Indiana like South Bend and northern Ohio like Toledo could see the brunt of this storm. So that western shift is something we paid a lot of attention to in that three to five day time frame. Now three days is a very important number because that is when we typically make our first snowfall map. Of course, we want to issue a snowfall map that is accurate and provides helpful information to you. And that is why we typically only do it three days out. Issuing a snow map a week out or 10 days out, the data is just not that good at that point. And there's so much fluctuation and change that can occur. We want to be confident in our numbers and confident they will be helpful to you and you can take that forecast seriously three days out typically when we issue that snow map. So be sure to stay updated to the WTOL 11 weather team, especially as that alert day Friday draws closer. We'll fine tune that snowfall map. Now one to three days is really the forecasting sweet spot. That is when a lot of the nuances start to come into light and become clear and we start to see what was a little bit vague and murky earlier on. At this point, we are fine tuning the track and the impacts. That storm track becomes even more clear and we can say with precision, Usually within about 50 to 100 miles, where's the heaviest snow going to be? Where's that rain snow line going to be? And who's going to get more of a liquid rainy precipitation versus a wintry precipitation? Of course, impacts are still very important at this point. And by getting specific and precise with the timing, we can help you plan your day. We can say that the Friday morning commute is going to be dicey. Friday afternoon holiday travel is going to be iffy. And Christmas Eve morning, we are going to see refreezing. Just a few examples of some of those impacts that we focus on. Also, so that snowfall map that I mentioned, we fine tune it and we start to hone in on who's going to get the most snow. We have a big viewing area. Some of you may be watching from Toledo, others from Hillsdale, others from Norwalk, and there's a big difference based on where you live. So the WTOL 11 weather team, we take a lot of pride in being able to differentiate these forecast zones. We make a different forecast for Lenaway County than we do for Seneca County, and we really focus on the local nuances that may affect you and the weather. And one of the cool features about our free WTOL 11 weather app is one of the features I really like. We actually do what we call zone forecasts. In other words, we fine tune the forecast for Southern Michigan. We do another forecast for Toledo, another one for the Lakeshore, and yet another one for the Southern zone that includes areas like Finley. That's a really cool way to differentiate the forecast because a lot of times just a few miles can make a big difference, especially with these winter storms with the rain snow line. And this is something we really take a lot of pride in, so be sure to check that WTOL 11 weather app. Once again, five to seven days out, we can tell there's a storm brewing. We look for the model consistencies. We are still in that three to five day range. 
too early to talk snowfall totals at this point, but we're starting to hone in on the storm track and one to three days out. That is when we start to fine tune the details. So how is this storm going to impact you at home? Let's talk about the travel impacts Thursday. Most of the day is going to be good, but a rain snow mix likely late in the day. Hence the yellow light for travel early holiday travel. Thursday, the earlier you can do it is going to be your best bet. Now as Friday rolls around, that is our alert day and there's a red light drifting snow, blowing snow likely regardless of how much snow we get. It's going to be blowing around on the roadways due to the powerful wind gusts. This system not only going to bring us some snow, but it is also going to bring strong, potent wind gusts. In fact, parts of the Great Lakes region could see near blizzard conditions. Friday, red light on that alert day. I would highly recommend you stay in Friday. I know a lot of folks don't have a choice with that holiday travel, but please be safe. Make sure the low beam headlights are on. Make sure you're taking it easy. Those turns, especially no abrupt turns. And if you're driving behind someone, give plenty of space, even extra space than you normally would. What about Christmas Eve? Still a yellow light on Saturday. The reason for that is we are forecasting what's called a refreeze or a flash freeze behind an Arctic cold front. Temperatures are going to go plummeting and behind those cooler temperatures. What happens is even the snow that's been shoveled or plowed, even the roads that have been treated, any moisture on those roads can refreeze and become a hockey rink. That's not good news for those of you traveling on Christmas Eve, especially the bridges, overpasses, side roads, neighborhood roads. Those are all more susceptible to refreezing and that can make travel hazardous on Christmas Eve. And we are looking at the potential for some big impacts as temperatures drop on off. We'll have the very latest forecast here on WTOL 11 and also online on WTOL 11 plus and on our social media channels.